Good day, my name is Richard and a warm welcome to Tutoring with Richard, where we cover the South African school syllabus and native topics. If you would like to help grow this channel, consider supporting me on PayPal, Patreon or buy me a coffee. Links in the description box below. Today we're going to cover strength of materials in 6. The topic of this tutorial is close coiled electrical springs. And the exercise is 7.1. The question is number 14. The question is included in the video. We have been asked to issue a cautionary note. When doing these questions, please use the method I'm going to show you, as this is the method that is marked correct. Using your own method to answer questions could cost you marks, even though your method and answer might be right. See the cautionary note at the beginning of the video. On a side note, watch until the end of the video. If you watch only the first five minutes, you will not gain a full understanding of what you need to do. There is no quick fix in strength of materials. It takes persistence, discipline and repetition. You have to use these steps in order to succeed. Let's get straight into it. Our question states, the figure shows a down bolted spring. The spring has a mean diameter of 150 millimeters and a wire diameter of 15 millimeters with 16 coils. The free length of the spring is 400 millimeters. That means that when the spring is not compressed, it is 400 millimeters long. The bolt diameter is 17 millimeters, and the plate on top of the spring is 30 millimeters thick. E is equal to 180 GPA for the bolt, and G is 79 GPA for the spring. Now we have to calculate the extension of the bolt. So, first things first. Length of the closed spring. Length of closed spring is N times D. So, our values are, in this case, N is the number of coils and D is the diameter of the of the wire. So N is equal to 16. Little d is equal to 0, 0,015 meters. And this will equal and this part here, 16 times 15 is 200 and 40 millimeters. Now L closed is equal to 240 millimeters. Now for the next part we are going to calculate one of the extensions. First is what we're going to do is say 400. Now, this symbol, this particular symbol, will be for our compressed. This is our compressed spring length. So, minus 240 is equal to 160 millimeters. Now, 160 millimeters. Next, the formula is, now we're looking for W. So it's 8 W times big D. Now big D is equal to 0, 0,15 meters times N all over G times little d. And this is cubed and that's to the power of 4. Now G is 79 times 10 to the 9. Okay, let's see what we have so far. We have this, 
We have this, we have this, we have this, and we have this. We do not have W. So let's manipulate formula to get W. So, this comes up to the top and this comes down to the bottom. So we have that times G times D to the power 4 all over 8 times D cubed times N. All of this equals W. So this will equal 0, 0,16 times 79 times 10 to the 9 times little d, which is 0, 0,015 to the power 4 all over 8 times 0, 0,15 cubed times 16. And this equals 1, 481 kilonewtons. So, W is equal to 1, 481 kilonewton. Now we're going to look for the length of the bolt. So the bolt, length of the bolt is equal to 240 plus 30. 240 is the length of the spring closed. So 30 is the thickness of the plate. And this will be 270 millimeters. So length of the bolt equals 270 millimeters. Our diameter of the bolt is 17 millimeters. So, what we need to do now, is now we're going to get x. Now we've got everything we need in order to do x. So, it is F, L, over A, E. E, as we read in the question, is 180 times 10 to the 9. So, what we have here is 1, 4, 8, 1, which is F, which is F, times L, which is 0, 27, times 4. The 4 comes from the formula of area. Area is equal to pi over 4 d squared or in this case it is little d so because it's on the bottom this whole thing inverses so now we put pi here times next part is d which is 0, 0,015 squared. This here is our diameter of the bolt times E. 180 times 10 to the 9. You put this in your calculator and you get 0, 0,009 seven millimeters. That is how much it moves by. 
That is your extension. So x is equal to that. That is your extension. If you found this tutorial helpful, please give it a like and subscribe. It helps to grow the channel. Positive feedback is most welcome. If you would like more videos like this, consider supporting me on PayPal, Patreon or buy me a coffee. Links in the description box below. Be at peace, be kind to each other and remember, passing well is achievable. Have a great day, looking forward to seeing you in the next video.